Yo, what is up everybody and welcome back to another Man 25 Ultimate Team Gameplay. Today, it's Season 5, Game 3, and we are coming off of a loss recently. Two games ago, a rare loss for us, so we're still trying to get in rebounding mode. And here we get interception mode with Eric Berry. Turn around, and we're taking this one for 6 on the first play of defense. And I think it's safe to say... Today might be a good day. This game might be going our way. If we're getting down the first play of the game, you know, I'm feeling all right. So, you know, it's season five, game three. But, you know, I know we've been doing this mutt season stuff for quite a while. And the mutt season's been going on for a while. So, I figured I would spend today asking you guys what you guys would like to see. As Ahmad Brooks gets an interception, third down to seven. This game's looking great for us. And look at Ahmad Brooks. Can we take this back? Oh, almost. We could have outran that last guy. That would have been magic. But look at this. MJD hatback pass to Calvin Johnson for a touchdown. And we're just toying with this dude right now. Like, we just threw a hatback pass for a touchdown. MJD, though. Look at that pass. Beautiful, man. And this guy is just completely stuck on his offense. And the only play he's seen on our offense is a hatback pass. So, I think we're doing pretty good. And, oh, man, Bowman. That's the one thing I really don't like about Bowman. He, he plays the run really well, but as far as pass coverage, he drops a lot of picks, and his jumping isn't exactly a 100 rating. And speaking of 100 ratings, uh, that's another thing I want to address in this video. The new Mutt collections, those new, um, they call it 99 overall cards, but I think you and me both know that those things are like 105 overall cards. As here, fourth and whatever, he just throws it up. He drops it, but it does not really matter. And then first play... Right? Why not go back to the halfback pass? And I'm looking at Calvin again, and Calvin catches it again and almost takes it all the way. I'm telling you, I'm just toying with this dude, man. It's too much fun. And then I try to actually run the ball with MJD. I think it's the first time I actually had a design run for him. And obviously, it didn't really go anywhere. But three down and four, we are going to get the touchdown here with Jamal Charles. And um, first things first, the what I want to do with this series from here forward, and all this mutt stuff, because as far as all those new cards, I'm not really sure how much of them I'm going to get, but um, I don't know you guys want to keep on seeing season games, or you guys want to see me try to, oh, by the way, why is this guy continuing to let me throw with the halfback? I mean, after a while, you know, you got to realize that uh, there's only one play I'm running out of that formation, and it's to the right side with the, like, come on, man. Don't let me do it again. Don't let me do it again with Jones Drew. And, oh, man, I almost did it. Calvin was just running into the abyss or something. I don't really know what he was looking but Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. I'm toying with this man. Jamal Charles. Ooh. Ooh. Okay, so we're up 28 nothing. We're doing pretty good. Um, Just to warn you guys, there are going to be quite a few more highlight plays like that. So, I interrupt the point I'm trying to make to um just like completely lose it over a play forgive me but yeah so you guys want to see me do more coin games i'm not really too big on doing coin games at least this year maybe for madden 26 or madden 15 whatever the hell they call the next one um maybe i might do that but as far as this one i wasn't thinking about doing coin games for this year but i know you know there's only so much season games we can play and you know i just figured you know why not run some coin games we got a good enough squad i think i'm a decent enough player to try to, to do a few coin games hopefully win more than i lose so you know, you guys want to see that? Let me know. I have no idea how to search for coin games. Not really my expertise. As uh, I think the hatback pass is starting to get a little bit overdone. He's finally figured it out. Let's let's go do do a little slow clap for this guy. It took him like almost a whole half, but he finally figured out how to stop the hatback pass. <laughs> so we um end up taking the field goal here. He calls his timeout. He's still trying. You know, it's not like he's stopped trying. He's calling his timeout, trying to mount the greatest comeback of all time. Down thirty-one, nothing. Of course, that all starts with getting a touchdown pretty soon here for him. So you know. Um, if you guys want to see me do like a low budget squad or something like that, maybe I could do that. But at the same time, that would probably be on the PS4. I'll probably keep this team around as we get the pick here with Eric Berry. And like I said, while I have this team around, I don't know if I should just keep on doing uh, like season games here and there or coin games or what. And if you guys do want to see me do the budget squad, I can always do that on the PS4. But at the same time, a lot of people are doing that and it's kind of like, you know, overdone. What I would probably do is just play with like a really, really low overall team. Try to get like the lowest overall possible and try to see how much games we can win with that. That would be my idea. Not a budget squad, but just like the crab team, you know, just like the worst team possible. Guess if you're going to be the underdog, man. You got to take it all the way. You got to go as low as you can go, baby. And um, yeah, so that's that. And a uh, little thought here on my mind because i noticed today they came out with those new collection cars it's like like i said they're 99s on the paper but i mean when you add it all up they're like 105 overalls there's like a 
Nama can sue with 100 block shedding. There's Jamal Charles with 99s are all over the board. Patrick Willis is a thing. I don't even know. I think he has 100 tackling. Uh, Brian Dawkins has 102 hit power. Calvin Johnson is catching halfback passes. That that whole thing is just um, you know, I didn't play Man 13 with Mutt, so I did not experience the. Crazy stuff that went out with four star 99, three star 99 cars and stuff like that. But it's starting to happen this year. I'm not, I'm not like mad at them. I don't think EA is screwing up or anything like that. I'm not putting in that on them. I mean, they got to do what they got to do to keep people interested. And if this sucker's in enough people, then they're doing their job to keep people playing the game in April, you know, because I mean, there's only so many people that are going to play Madden in April. So, I mean, like me, I'm still trying to find ways to um, make this game so much genuine because I've done so much stuff playing Madden for Madden 25 for so long. But, you know, those things, just don't expect me to get any of those cars right away because those cars are super expensive. The collections are going to take so much to complete. Don't expect me to go gaga over those cards because I'm not too big on that kind of stuff. If you guys notice, I've never really gotten a... By the way, look at that. I'm even getting lucky in this game. Even though that was kind of an underthrow by Vic. If that's possible to underthrow like a 60-yard route. Usually, most quarterbacks can't even throw that period. But, um... If you guys notice, I don't... I didn't never really get cards when they first come out. I usually wait for prices to come down. Or, you know, I buy Vic for a million coins. But, you know, you, you know what I'm saying? I just don't do that kind of stuff. So, don't expect me to do that. But, at the same time, you know... Um... Who knows? Who knows? I can't predict the future, man. Here we're running with oh, LaShawn McCoy took a shot there. Next play, we run the uh, pass or run to the outside here, and then we hit the stop and pop, and we get a touchdown, man. I'm just making this stuff look normal. I'm making these sick ass plays like normal in this game, man. Like that's like a number one play for some people, and right now that's just. You know, it's doing pretty good. So, I'm not sure how that looks on this guy. It makes me feel pretty happy, but I don't know, like, how this guy's feeling. All I know is he's not quitting, though. He's just bearing it out as we get the pick there at Andrew Roll. Almost got it with Barry instead of Andro Roll. Hitting the stop and pop, reversing feels, and oh, baby, Andro Roll juking for no reason. And we still get the touchdown. Oh, that juke almost cost us because the two offensive linemen ran into each other, which I didn't expect. But Andro Roll gets the touchdown anyways. And this is just my own highlight reel. I can make a highlight reel based on this game alone as Roll puts the hit on there. And that's just, you know, if you need a free safety, I'm telling you, man, Antro Roll has been killing it for me. Like, he's just making plays. And here, this guy is desperate. He's coming out Hail Mary passing in. You know, I'm, like I said, he hasn't quit yet. He still has not quit. I'm not sure why. Maybe he wants to get his coins. Maybe he's unlike me. He doesn't do what I do, you know? I don't know, but, uh, man, I only quit that one game. Don't, don't get on me for that, damn man. Here we um fumble the ball. Don't get on me for that either. Obviously, I could have gone out of bounds. And I would have in a more significant game. But right now, like I said, this is my own highlight reel. I'm just making highlight reel plays as Keekly drops the pick there. I'm just trying to make every single play run right now a touchdown. Because that's all that's left to do in this game. There's obviously no winning or losing on the line. It's here, third down and 10. We're just dropping picks now. Fortunately, we can't catch them. But look at four down here. We come from across the field to get the pick with Barry. And you know what I'm looking for? I'm looking for the touchdown. And look at this. Barry, nothing but green ahead. And we're getting yet another defensive touchdown. Our third of the game. And our second with Eric Barry. Our second user pick six there. And the highlight reel plays continue, man. It's just too much fun here. He's chucking it up. We're looking to get the interception. You already know what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to get this for six. What Patrick Peterson, who's basically a 99 with the speed boost, hitting the stop and pop here. And, dude, are you serious? Are you serious? Patrick Peterson, just take it. Just take it, man. He's giving it to me, too. He's diving all his players on the ground. He's giving up. Like, all faith in humanity. If he didn't dive those players on the ground, I'm still pretty confident I could have outran those offensive linemen with Patrick Peterson. But unfortunately, we'll never know because he put them on the ground. Thankfully, though, we got seven points at the same time. Who really cares? But right now, this dude hasn't even scored a single point. Like, come on, man. And this is one reason why I'm wondering if you guys want to see me play coin games. Because, I mean, not every game ends up like this. This is easily the biggest blowout I've ever done in Mutt, but... I mean, still though, most of the games I do win in Mutt, and coin games might be at least closer, hopefully. And now that, now that you know, my team was pretty high overall compared to most teams. Now they're coming out all these new cards. A lot of people are going to start getting the kind of players I have. So, um, those coin games will be more even. They'll be more fun to watch, hopefully. And here I end up ruining the shutout because I end up giving him a safety here. 
I did get it pr to prevent a touchdown there, but it's still in the end zone there. I, I was just lateraling it. Like I said, every play was going to be a touchdown there, and the lateral was the only way to make that a touchdown since I couldn't return that for six there. So, yeah, we get up the, shot, um, the shutout, but who really cares? Charles Woodson on the interception there. Minute 10 remaining in this game. And honestly, I'm like, I'm not even going to run up the score anymore, but he comes out on a field goal block, so he pretty much gives me no choice. I either run it into an 11-man front, or I just take the touchdown, and um, I try to kill a little bit of clock. I could have just, I could have stopped at the one-yard line, but honestly, if he's going to come out on a field goal block, just, I'm just going to score the touchdown. He comes out on normal defense, I run the clock out, but if you want to come out on field goal block, I'll score my touchdown really quick, so... Um, 100 points might be on the horizon here. We could get a few more picks and stuff like that. As you almost get one there, but Roll just bats the ball down. Second down 10. And I'm kind of thinking about the 100 right now. I'm thinking uh, we got a pick six here and there. I mean, we could score like three touchdowns in the next minute. We could get to 100. And here, third down and 20. He throws it up. Patrick Peterson and Roll both just drop the ball. And the 100 is looking a little bit out of reach. So now we're just going to need a ball out for this poor soul because this was just a complete massacre. And just to make it worse, one more interception for the statue. I have no idea how much interceptions he's thrown, but let's just say it was a lot. So I run the ball here, and then I come out into the knee formation just to show him, like, mercy, man, mercy. And shout out to you for staying in for the whole game. You could have quit there like me, but, you know, this guy needed the 100 coins. He's a way better person than me, blah, blah, blah. So we go out to win. Hope you guys leave a like on the video if you enjoyed it. Subscribe for more Man25. Let me know what you think in the comment section because... I'm down for anything, man. I just love commentating these videos. As far as men, I'll play whatever I got to play for you guys. So, um, yeah, I'll catch you guys next time on that note.